Welcome to this video where we show how to use the Database and Analytics Data Collection Module in the Application Discovery Service Agentless Collector. You can use this data collection module to connect to your on-premises environment and discover your OS and database servers. This module builds an inventory of your Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, and PostgreSQL database servers. Then, you can collect metadata and performance metrics from the database servers in your inventory. To store the collected data, create an Amazon S3 bucket in the AWS region, where you run the data collection module. In the IAM console, create the IAM policy that grants access to your S3 bucket. Also, create an IAM user and attach the following IAM policies to this user. The AWS managed policy grants access to the application discovery service and turns on automatic updates of your agentless collector. The customer managed IAM policies provide your data collection module with access to your S3 bucket and the AWS DMS API. Next, create a new DMS data collector in your AWS migration hub home region. Choose the Amazon S3 bucket that you created before. Finally, you choose the IAM role that provides access to this S3 bucket. Now, log into the Application Discovery Service Agentless Collector. You can see the home region on the home page. You can edit the credentials used by the collector by changing the AWS access key and secret key. We open the Database and Analytics Collector. You can see that the collector can't access AWS DMS and your Amazon S3 bucket. To address this issue, configure data forwarding from the Database and Analytics Data Collection module to your AWS DMS Collector. Here. You choose the AWS DMS data collector that you created before. To change other settings, you must update the agentless collector settings. You can see that your data collection module can access AWS DMS and your Amazon S3 bucket. This data collection module uses LDAP in Microsoft Active Directory to automatically discover OS servers in your network. Alternatively, you can add your OS servers manually or use the VMware data collection module. In this video, we add the LDAP server. After we verify the connection to this server, we discover OS servers. After the data collection module completes the discovery of OS servers, you can see the discovered servers on the OS servers tab. Next, we configure connection credentials for the discovered OS servers. Make sure that you verify that the data collection module can connect to the server that you add. After you add all OS servers, select them and start the discovery of database servers. Next, we add all discovered database servers to the inventory. Now, we configure connection credentials for databases. Then, we make sure that the data collection module can connect to these servers. In addition to automatically discovered database servers, we add one database server manually. Now, we start the data collection for the selected database servers. 
you can run your database and analytics data collection module in the following two modes. For the first option, the data collection module runs for a single time. During this run, it collects such information as schemas, versions, additions, CPU, memory, and disk capacity from your servers. When you choose the second option, the data collection module starts ongoing monitoring of your servers during the specified time. In addition to metadata and capacity metrics, it collects actual utilization metrics of CPU, memory, and disk capacity. We choose the first option and start the data collection. On the Collection Health tab, you can see the results of query runs for all database servers that you selected. Now, we choose the second option and start the data collection for the next 24 hours. In this mode, the data collection module collects performance metrics every minute. To view the results of data collection, navigate to the AWS DMS console. On the Inventory tab on the DMS console, you can see the database and analytics servers that your data collector discovered. The collected data appears on the DMS console in 10 to 15 minutes after your data collection module completes its work. You can analyze the databases to assess the complexity of the migration to the AWS cloud. In this video, we showed how to use the database and analytics data collection module and view the collected data. Now, you can use AWS DMS to determine the right-sized AWS target engine for the migration of your database and analytics servers. Thank you for watching this video.